I made this post yesterday saying that Frederick Douglass is the original F daddy. He walked so these current dusties could run. I made this post and apparently lots of people didn't know that he was one of the original dusties. Let's get into the history of why. We need to discuss um, Frederick Douglass's first wife, Anna. Without Anna, there would have been no Frederick Douglass, period, point blank. And we do not discuss Anna at all. She is basically erased or she wasn't in history, but without her, he would have been nobody. So we don't know much about Anna because there was not a lot written about her and she was largely illiterate and left behind few physical traces of her life. But Frederick Douglass wrote books. Why didn't he write about his wife? Probably because he wanted all of the glory for himself and wanted to make it seem like he was a self-made man, which he wasn't. Anna Bailey was born free. Um, she was working, she was able to save her own money and she was working as a domestic helper. And she was living in a vibrant city in Maryland. And these um, people in Maryland were organizers trying to help other um, black people in that time frame. So Anna basically was able to help save money to get his escape. She sold him a disguise and she did all of this to start a life with him. But obviously he had to get free first. So they are starting their life up in Massachusetts. He puts all these kids in her. So um, first they had, they had about four kids, but while, so she is one of the first married single mothers. So she has all these kids and she has to basically support herself and the kids because Freddie D is out here gallivanting, being very important in the abolitionist world, doing all kinds of things all over the country now that he has saddled her with all of these kids. And not just saddled her with all of these kids, she has to work still to support the whole household, the kids, and everything that he is doing, you know, gallivanting around the world. I'm sorry, around the country. So he went off to England from 1945 to 19, I mean, 1845 to 1847. And she was alone in this country in this, you know, to raise her kids, well, their kids, but basically she was a married single mother, like I just said. So when he gets back from England, gallivanting around the world, now the home that she has helped create and build up, now he wants to host parties. He's done very little to help support this family, but now he wants to, um, you know, bring his house guests and have parties over at her house. There'll be a part two because we got to talk about the real F boyness that Freddie D. So I am continuing my conversation about Freddie D, the original F daddy. So when he gets back from England after gallivanting around the world and he's doing his abolition talks and he's writing his books, when he moves back home to the home that his wife has built and maintained with her own money while taking care of all of their kids that he left with her and he didn't really help raise, he brings in two alabaster women. Julia, Griffith, Julia Griffiths, an English woman who helped with the North Star, lived with Douglas, lived in the Douglas household for two years, occasionally commenting on the lowly nature of Anna work, Anna's work. And then he had another house guest, German Adelie Essig, and they had numerous unkind things to say about Anna. So they're talking mess in her house. Frederick's close affiliation with both of these women only added fuel to the fire of rumors f that followed the family. He was accused of having affairs with both of them, to in part to discredit his work as an abolitionist. I mean, he probably was. He moved two alabaster women into his house. For Anna to have to defend herself would have required abandoning the privacy of her home. So this goes back to you got to keep family secrets in the house. But that all that does is protect the reputation of the man that's out here gallivanting with other women. Now, this is very euphemistic. Frederick is very circumspect about mentioning Anna in his writing because he's trying to respect her. Yeah, right. He just didn't want to give her her due for what she did to help support him. 
So Anna dies in 1882 after a series of strokes, leaving behind a legacy that few people ever thought to explore. People judge Anna to not be good enough for their great darling Douglas. And this is true. He didn't write about her. He didn't edify his wife at all. Also, they're seeing that maybe because she was a dark-skinned woman, she didn't get her due as well. And it's so crazy. He has written so many books, taken so many pictures, but has very few, there's very few pictures of her. All right, now let's talk about his second wife, Helen Pitts Douglas. Keep in mind, Anna died in 1882. Freddie D marries her in 1884, almost a year and a half after um, Anna dies. Supposedly he was depressed and needed her, but he, she was already living with him. He stays married to her until his death. Now, the other woman that he is rumored to have an affair with, Audley, this is her. Douglas and Audley are widely believed to have had an intimate relationship. So much so that she actually offed herself, but they're saying it's because that she was sick. Who knows? But this is the tale that they don't talk about.